Hello everybody and welcome to Parks Bros. It's Drew here and we have our final Calico River Rapids construction update and you can see a brand new sign that looks great. I will say I really like the look of it, but this will be our final update at least until we get to the park for opening day unless we get a picture of the Bigfoot or something along those lines. We'll just have to wait and see. But as of right now, this will be the final update for sure. And there's been a lot of added theming in the past 48 hours alone. You can see these new boxes that look amazing outside the entrance to add a little story element to the ride. Uh, you can see some boxes even next to the Pots and Colta cabin. And you can also see people riding the raft ride itself, Calico River Rapids, because it was the commercial shoot day. So don't be surprised from some testing videos later, as well as a commercial shoot clip now and then. And you can also see, we finally got to see the bear moving in person and it looks fantastic. I think the bear is the best looking animatronic that we've seen, at least in person, move around. And you can see that the mountain lion now has a freshly painted speaker behind it that is blended into, into the rocks quite well, I would say. But the mountain lion doesn't have as much movement, but it still looks great nonetheless, I would say. Now, here is a huge surprise to all of us. There is an actual trapper animatronic in front of the trapper cabin. I've been calling it the hunter cabin for a long time, but supposedly it's supposed to be called the trapper's cabin. And there is an actual trapper with a blunderbuss in hand, and he uh, is not very happy you've gone on his property. So whenever you go by, he will actually probably try to startle you with a couple shots from his blunderbuss as you can see right there and it's really awesome to see that this was a huge surprise to all of us we had no idea this was going to happen but uh right next to the cabin itself there is a coonskin cap right next to a raccoon and here is some more added theming for the tnt and the plunger boxes which we did not get to see fire sadly but they look fantastic. Just all those little red barrels look amazing, I would say for sure. I love the look of them. Uh, I think it really adds a lot to just that little section alone. So it's really great to see all that appearing as of now. But you could also see that there are a lot of things happening over with the queue, and that is that the entire queue building is pretty much finished which is insane to even think about. And I am hearing a couple different things that there might be some pre-show elements potentially inside that building. Not a full pre-show, we don't think, but potentially a video or something along those lines giving some history about the story of the ride itself, which will be awesome. Here's just another look at the mountain lion right here, just waving, saying hello to us. I think it looks great, all honesty. Actually, what, do you guys have a name for the mountain lion or the mama bear, potentially? Let us know down in the comments. We're really interested to see what you'd like to name these animatronics, because we're gonna have a name for everybody. And supposedly, Bigfoot is called Kevin. So yeah, that's a thing. I think it's a fitting name, in all honesty. But here's another look at the queue line. There is an outhouse outside the queue line as well. And you can also see these metal pieces that have been sticking out of the ground for quite a long time. We were wondering what they were for. It turns out they were just mounts for barrels. So there are now barrels right outside of where the flume goes by and where the walkway is. So I think it's a nice piece of theming, just not what we expected to be in those spots, that's for sure. Here's another interesting thing though, that there is now wood around part of Pony's track in a more interesting shape, almost looking like a mountain in a way. I'm wondering if they're gonna paint this at all or weather it within the next couple days for possibly a photo opportunity that was shown in the concept art originally. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, they did weather another part of that fence, which we will probably see later, which I think it looks a lot better now. Here is where you will actually be able to spray people on ride using the plunger boxes and it is kind of gated off just for the protection of both the riders and the pedestrians so no one can get across and into the flume itself. I think it looks nice regardless though. I just know it's there for safety more than anything. But here's another look at the human animatronic on the ride, the trapper, and a look at more of the weathered fencing. There's also been a lot of smaller plants added in the past couple days and hopefully within the next couple years they can grow out to make this feel more and more wild. 
Now, one thing I want to mention is that Rapids Trader, which is the little tiny shop outside of Calico River Rapids, was stocking up on shirts. I will show a quick clip of the shirts that they will be selling for $24.99 right here. And I think they look really good. I, I think they just look amazing. They remind me a lot of the concept art and that's a big plus for me. They also do have stuffed animal Bigfoots as well. Or Big Feet? Bigfoots? Big Feet. Sasquatches. Yetis? Yeti? I don't know. The pluralities of these mythical beasts. But you can now see that the entrance sign does indicate that this will be an aggressive thrill ride by Cedar Fair standards saying it's a five or a double black diamond. I don't know if I'd agree with that entirely. I'd rate it more of like a three, uh, but it could be more aggressive than it used to be. So possibly a four, but I don't see this being a five in my personal opinion, but I will save that for another video for another day. And here's just a quick look at the station. They do have the original operator tower there still, but it looks like a new fort, honestly. A lot of this new wood is making it look like an old wilderness fort, which I really love that type of theming, especially with Tom Sawyer's Island, or I guess now Pirate's Lair at Disneyland. I love that fort. And here's just a look at the chickens. You can see two of them in this picture. There are three or four of them that we could actually see. It was just hard to get footage of them, but they look awesome. And here's more of that fort theming around the Q building. And I think it just looks perfect for the area in all honesty, but they were turning on new lights for the Q building. And I think it looks really authentic and you can see those on for the first time right there. So I think it looks awesome. And I'm gonna have a quick kind of time lapse right here just to talk about a couple things. This is actually refilling the flume. They did take out the water from the flume for their lunch break from the commercial, but it was refilled in about five to six minutes realistically before they ended up sending in some rafts. So it was very cool to see all that happen. And I'm super excited for this ride in all honesty. This is something that I've wanted to happen for a long time and I'm glad it's finally happened. And the way it's happened is even better than I could have imagined. It's looking fantastic all around. And I can't wait to walk through that queue because I know there's gonna be a lot of things that we couldn't see from the outside inside the queue. So it'll be really cool to see all of that, especially in the queue building, as well as getting other shots of where the baby bear is and seeing some snakes, wolves, woodpeckers, the whole lot of them, I think it's gonna be amazing to be able to go through that queue and just experience everything this ride has to offer. And of course, I'm gonna be very excited about meeting Kevin, the Bigfoot, but that's honestly gonna be something that is gonna be a little harder to get actual views of because it is a spinning raft and also I won't be able to film it because it will only be visible from on ride. And since I'm not going to media day, I can't really film it for you guys, sadly, because it is against park policy to be filming on ride without permission. But here you can see more testing going on after the flumes were completely full and it really goes through this layout pretty quickly, except for two of the turnarounds. And in all honesty, even with the people inside the rafts, it is going quicker. So they must have gotten new pumps in order to power that water all the way through a little quicker. So it looks great, to be honest. And I really just love this view of the dueling rafts going around the mama bear. It's just a perfect view for this ride. And it got a lot of people's attention today. So many people tried to get on the ride itself, but they weren't able to sadly because it was only available for the commercial shoot. So not a soft opening today, sadly. And there's a lot of new lights everywhere and I can't wait to see this at night. There are so many different colored lights. There's pink, there's blue, there's green, there's orange, there's red. It looks fantastic, or at least it should look fantastic at night. And I can't wait to see that because I am a sucker for night lighting. I mean, hang time showed that in full force and it should look even more amazing at night. So we will definitely be staying at least till eight o'clock on opening day. So go from 10 to eight, that's a 10 hour day already. I don't think we'll do opening to closing though, because after 12 hours, I think I might be pooped in all honesty, but we'll just have to wait and see for that. But here you can see some of the media crew going through the queue, trying to get some shots from the queue line itself which is very cool to see. Their rig is very immaculate, at least in comparison to my rig. 
but a lot of testing going on today and a lot of time given to actors as well as ACE members to ride this ride and give their reactions for the camera for a TV commercial that will come out in the next coming weeks or even months. But everyone was showing genuine joy and I know they had ridden the ride multiple times over by that point because they did start their day at 7 a.m. So they had a long day of just riding the same ride over and over again. But they were all genuinely happy to be on the ride. At least that's what it looked like. And I'm not talking about the actors. The actors, of course, are going to look genuinely happy. But a lot of the others looked really enthused about riding this perfect retheming. And here's just one last look at the sign before we go with our final Calico River Rapids update. I am so unbelievably excited to get on this ride in less than 48 hours as of this recording. And probably when it comes out, it'll be less than 24 hours away. So I'm beyond excited. And I can't wait to meet some of you guys opening day. We will be having a meetup at about 4 p.m. or so at the ride. And I'd love to see you guys there. But it's absolutely amazing to see all the progress we've seen in the past couple months with this thing. And to finally be able to get on it again with all of its new improvements is honestly going to be a little weird, but welcomed for sure. But I just wanted to say thank you all for watching all of these updates about Calico River Rapids. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm just glad I could get all this info out to you about this ride if you're excited about it. And I know at least some of you are, especially by some of your comments talking about how great this will be. And I couldn't agree more. I am over the moon about getting to ride this within the next week and hopefully meeting a lot of you guys within the next week as well. But again, I must thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you have not because we will have tons of updates about knots as well as other parks in socal throughout the year but of course as always we'll see you on the next ride